Chicago right now. We have we have like a two hour layover, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, our flight is on board for another probably like 30-ish minutes. Um, but we're kind of just chilling. We're at the Midway Airport. I don't know. I've been to Chicago twice and I've been to the O'Hare and I've been to the Midway. And I don't like either of them. Like, I, these airports... I don't know what can i say i love a good bwi atlanta airport is growing on me but there's just like no food options here none and everything just it's so dated i don't know that's not like that's not their fault it's just i love a modern look to things but yeah the next time i'll see you i'll be in la Well, technically we're not in LA. We're like 30 minutes outside the city um, because we're visiting my mom's friend and she doesn't live necessarily in LA, but we're not that far. We're really like in the hilly area, not Beverly Hills or anything, but you can definitely see like the mountains and stuff. I'm gonna flip the camera, but I'm in the hotel room this right now. This is our view. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is the room. This TV is so big. Like, when I first came out, I was like, dang, the TV is huge. Then, have the mirror. Here's the bathroom. Love a nice mirror. And y'all can already see the shower. And yeah, something cute. Something, something slight, something slight. Not, not too much, not too much. Um, when we go to the pool, I'll film what the pool looks like. But yeah. It is the next day. My mom and I just finished getting breakfast and we're gonna be on our way to LA area. We might go to Beverly Hills for a little bit, Rodeo Drive. I'm gonna look up how far it is from our hotel. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna be filming the views, best believe. The breakfast place was really good. It was cute, not really busy. So it was like very much like in and out. Like we'd have to wait too long, which I really liked. And yeah, I'm just soaking this all in. It's a beautiful day in California right now. Like, it's probably almost 80 degrees, but there's a slight breeze, so it doesn't feel too hot. I'm just glad to get out the cold because it was cold back home, and it's crazy because it was May. Like, it's ridiculous, but we're ready. update this is our last full day in california we leave tomorrow morning and today we're gonna spend the rest of the day in malibu so this morning my mom and i went to duncan just get a quick breakfast because we're going out to lunch with my mom's friend 
um, and we're going to this restaurant that's at the beach. Well, it's not at the beach, but you get the ocean view. It's basically at the beach. So we're gonna go to Malibu, we're gonna go to the pier, we're gonna go to the beach. I've never been to Malibu, so I'm pretty excited about that, especially to see like the houses over there. And I absolutely love the beach. But the thing about California, like the water is just so cold. But I've been to Hawaii and the Pacific Ocean is still there and it wasn't cold. So I don't know what's up with Cali's water. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm excited to go. I've just been reading this book. It's called How the Word is Passed by Clint Smith. So good. Kind of lengthy. Like he's very detailed. So it's like you're reading a lot. But because he's so vivid in his details, it, it feels as though that you're actually like in the book. And it's really interesting. And I'm learning a lot. So yeah, I've just been relaxing up here. I'm about to go back and get ready for the day. amazing i got salmon well first we started off with ahi tartar like for the appetizer then i got salmon and then i got this pot pot de creme it was but salted caramel butterscotch it was so good and i just love the beach and i'm here right now but i want to change my shoes because i don't want sand in these sandals but the beach is just so nice it's so calming so pretty i see why people live here like this is definitely a vacation home if I could have it, if I could live here for vacation, I'll be pretty content with life. 